I don't think you guys have any fucking idea how long that just took me to set up this goddamn microphone. So hopefully it sounds good. Hopefully I don't fucking turn it off halfway through like I did last time. Hi. Hello. It is Maya. Welcome back to my channel. Follow me on social media. I do all that fun shit. Blah, blah, blah. Let's get into the video because this is my second time recording this. One week later. Uh, I don't want to deal with all that shit. So, how are we doing? Are we good? I hope so. I'm alright. I always seem to get into like a really manic, slightly hyper... That turning off just scared the shit out of me for a second. Wow. I always seem to get into like a weird episode every time I try to record, but it's fine. Because you know what? My laptop has 37% on it and it is slowly going down. So we're going to get into this. You guys know for the past however many months, basically probably all of 2020, I have just been screaming about how I don't have my shit together. Well, even though it doesn't seem like it right now. I kind of got my shit together. I've tried a lot of different methods of planning my life and essentially getting my shit together and a lot of it just didn't seem to work. Specifically bullet journaling. Now bullet journaling I've tried since like 2018. I've bought journals all the time. I end up just like scrapping them like three months into it and then I forget about it then I pick it up again and then I forget about it then I pick it up again and then I try to turn it into art journal and then it just it I just can't do it. It doesn't work for me. I'm just one of those people where I have to see things like in my my hand. I have to see things 24-7, right? I don't carry a bullet journal with me, so there's no way for me to like write down a random thought, refer back to it easily, see it right in the palm of my hand or in front of me on a computer. It's just not something that's like plausible for me. If it works for you, that's cool. I fucking wish it worked for me because I do love the concept of it. I love the creativity you can put into it, but it just doesn't, when it comes to planning my life and <laughs> being sane, it doesn't work for me. So an app that I've been using over the past, I mean, I've used it for probably like two years now, but I've really like just recently within like the last like month and a half or so, I've started using it consistently to actually like plan out my days hour by hour week by week is Google Calendars. Now I know it seems like such a measly little app, website, whatever you want to call it, but I like it because I have it on my computer and my phone. I can edit it on both my computer and my phone, which means that it's mobile so I can bring it with me anytime I'm at work and I just think of like a random thing that I need to do or if maybe something needs to get changed around, I can easily change around when I'm out and about and on the go or at work and you know, something just comes to mind. It's easily accessible in that way and I like that because I can't do that with the bullet journal like I just explained. Now, the way I used to use it was I only used it for like big things. So I would use it for like my schedule for work, when I had a bill coming up, when I had a doctor's appointment and then just like, I don't know, random things in between. I mean, I use it for like birthdays and stuff too, but just like I guess random things in between. So like when I would post a YouTube video or if I need to do laundry or something. But the way that I do it now is that I fill up each day hour by hour. And I know for a lot of people that probably seems like really tedious or you probably look at what I'm about to show you and gonna be like, that's really overwhelming, what the fuck. But it works for me because I've learned that I have to see my entire day hour by hour, section by section, so that I know what I'm doing within that time frame. I can wake up and be like, oh, I need to work out, have breakfast, clean this certain thing, get ready for work, leave at this certain time. I can like have that in my head, but when it comes to actually doing it, I'm constantly like thinking to myself like, oh my God, how much time do I have left? I can't manage my time properly. But in doing it like this, I can see exactly how long it's gonna take me to do something and how much time I have left to do that certain thing. And then along the way, if I happen to finish something early, I can just shorten whatever task that was and shift things around really quick and then just like modify my day as it goes on. The reason why that's easier for me is because it's a very quick like switch that I can make where it doesn't change a lot of things. It doesn't look messy like how it would if you were to like scribble things out in a bullet journal. It's just easily modifiable. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start a screen recording. I'm gonna play on my next week with you guys and I'm just gonna show uh, what I do. So this is the calendar that I have set up for next week. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to unclick all the calendars that I have on the side so we can kind of start fresh and then we can go one by one and plan things. The other thing that I like is that not only can I just like 
if I'm on my laptop, I can just look at the little tab that I have on my screen. There's a widget for it for your iPhone. So I can just have that on like my main screen and I can see like what my next two to three tasks for that day is going to be. So here's my empty slate. <laughs> I have my week set up Monday through Sunday because that is just what I prefer. So I have all my calendars on the side here. Uh, we have to do, bills, birthdays, business slash collabs, chores, fitness, medical, personal. There's reminders and tasks, but I don't use those but I can't get rid of them because Google makes you have them on there. And then shopping, work, YouTube. So there's a few that I have that are like recurring. One would obviously be bills. So anytime throughout the month that a bill needs to be paid or what my payday is, that's automatically set up there. But the other thing that I do is like in the description of that event, I will say like how much that bill is. The next big thing that I have that's recurring is just work. I have a set schedule at work, so that's very easy for me. Sometimes I go in earlier, sometimes I leave earlier, sometimes I stay later. I'll just modify it as I go on, like I said. The next main calendar is to do, which I do have a recurring task for this one and that's literally just wake up and coffee because Tuesdays through Saturdays, I do try to wake up at 8 a.m. every day. Sundays and Mondays, I don't really care too much about. I'm going to re-click everything and we'll just plan things as we go. Now, as you can see, I clicked shopping. So I have a package expected next week, Tuesday. So I got that. I do have a doctor's appointment on Monday at 2.30. And then, uh, what was the other thing that popped up? Oh, posting this plan with me video. So we're gonna go back to the week before because this is pretty much like a generalization of how my weeks are. And I will come back to these for like reference and everything. Sundays and Mondays I have off. So Monday, I probably won't wake up till, I'll try to wake up between like nine and 10. So then we'll do, wake up and coffee at that time. I do need to edit on Monday. And then in order to change the calendar, you just click down there and I change it to YouTube. That was the other thing I forgot to mention. Everything's color coordinated. So I don't really have to like, like I know what each little like group it's in just by looking at the color. I don't really have to like think about it too much. So that I like as well. So I really don't have anything else much to do here except for like probably just get ready at that time. Probably have breakfast later. Ish. And that's another thing. I just like, I don't really like how that is. So I'm gonna switch it around because I can do that. And look how easy that was. Wow. If I had fucked that up in a bullet journal, I would have had to scribble it all out and my brain would have gotten mushy. So I leave this space right here empty because that's where my doctor's appointment is. And then I'm also gonna leave that empty because that's probably gonna be when I'm either going home or going to pick up my prescription. And as of right now, I don't have anything else for Monday planned. So what I'll do is until like 11.30 because 11.30 midnight-ish is when I try to go to bed, I just do relax and I change it to personal. And I know that all of this is just free time where I don't really have to worry about anything. If something comes up, I will add it in and shorten things out. But as of right now, I'm gonna be with my boyfriend. I know for a fact that day, so I don't need to do anything with that. I'm gonna refer back to last week. The last day I worked out was Saturday, Sundays and Mondays. I usually don't work out that often, but if I have to change it to where I do work out, I will. Eight to nine, wake up a coffee. So then we're gonna work out this day. And I know that Saturday was a strength day. So what I'm gonna do this day is in the description, add in cardio. So five minute stretches, 30 minute cardio, 10 minute cool down and stretches. And then I don't, you don't have to do all this bullshit. I just do it because why not work out? We're gonna add a little, take a shower really quick. You, I know, I know, I know you're thinking like Maya, why do you need to add in? that you're gonna take a shower. I just do, okay? I need to see that there's something there that I need to get done and I'm like, oh yeah, that's taking a shower. It doesn't matter if I do it within that time frame. I don't like try to like rush myself. I'm just like letting myself know, hey, this comes after that. Keep that in mind. And then till there, we go and get ready for work. And then um, I'm gonna take my boyfriend home this day because we've kind of have this this routine now where I pick him up on Fridays and then I take him home on Tuesdays. Drop silly off and then I work two to nine and then I leave that space empty because that is when I drive home and I change that to personal and that's literally it I'm just going to speed through this really quick so let's do this
Okay, cool. That was it. That's literally all I needed to do to plan out my week. This is generally like how it will start out. Like it is very repetitive. It is very kind of like, those are obvious things to do. Why do you need to put those down? But like I said, I need to see that the empty spaces of time are filled up with something and I can just like look at something and be like, okay, just because it says breakfast, that also means like make breakfast, do dishes, clean the cat box while you're at it, you know, shit like that. I can like refer to other things in my mind. Like for example, if I were to take to do away, I can see like, okay, these are really like the main tasks in my life that I need to do. Or even like with personal too, like those are the main things that I need to do. But looking at this right now, I'm like, um, I have no idea what the fuck I would do in between this time, you know? Like even just adding in like the little blue areas where it's like, oh, your personal time. I know that within that personal time, like that's for me. Relaxing for me is just, you know, spending time with myself, spending time with my boyfriend, doing self-care, winding down for the night. And even though like this is very repetitive, if I were to go back to this week, like this that you're seeing right here is how this current week, hi, it's Friday, is how this current week originally looked. But like Tuesday, I did not wake up at that time. Tuesday, I didn't feel good, so I ended up not going to work. Uh, I went to bed at like 9.30 that day. I did end up working out on Monday because it just worked out better. There was something that I needed to add in here, like pick up my prescription. Today, I had a lot more chores that I needed to get done. Right now, I'm filming the plan with me, which I am going to be done by one o'clock so I can shorten this right now and just move everything up more. And not look at that, now I have more time to shop, which that's probably a more realistic idea of me shopping. And like here, I don't know if I'm going to be picking my boyfriend up at 3 o'clock. I might actually end up picking him up tomorrow. I might have to pick him up later. It doesn't really matter, I just know like the general idea of what needs to get done. And then like if we go the week before, this one is all different. As the days go on, I will like modify and edit things because I do like to refer back to other days and see like exactly how long it took me to do certain things. <clears throat> So yeah, that's what I do now. I really didn't make this video to kind of like help anybody or like give advice or anything. I really just wanted to show you guys what I do because I don't know, I kind of feel proud of myself for giving myself, I guess a routine and a way to schedule my life that actually works for me where I'm productive. Like I've been working out. I don't feel as insane. Like I can't get things done. I dedicate certain time slots time slots to me, to YouTube, to work, to my boyfriend, to my family. It's helped out a lot. My fucking, my money management has been a lot better. Like who, who would have thunk it, honestly? That's basically it. Um, the only other thing that I can really say as well is that I do also use the Google Tasks app, but like I said, I don't check the mark over here so that I can see the tasks because for me, I use that as more of like things that I need to do like in the future that don't need like a specific day. It's just like a thought that comes to mind where I'm like, shit, I need to get that done. If I have something that I know needs like a deadline, I'll just put it on the calendar right away and I'll sort it into that specific category that that task is in. But like, for example, I'll show you over here. My tasks are like really simple things like, like upload the screen record to your computer, get new windshield wipers, fill tire with air, fix the thing above the tire, go through your clothes again, print out camera receipt. Shit like that that doesn't really like need a deadline, but it is shit that I just, you know, need to get done eventually. And then, like I said, while I'm on my phone, I have the Google widget right there, and then I also have the app, and then the task app right there. So yeah, my laptop is about to die, so I'm gonna stop the screen recording and stop this video because we're done. That literally only took me like, realistically, if I wasn't filming this, it would take me five minutes, maybe 10 at most, maybe like eight at most. Some weeks are busier than others. Some weeks I need to do more things than others. I feel like I keep rambling about it, but I, 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 <laughs> I'm just proud of myself, okay? That's all I have to say. It was a lot, but I thank you for watching. If you did, maybe this will help you out and kind of be a little inspiration to kind of get your shit together because I mean, my shit's together, yeah, but is it really? Kind of laughing while editing this right now. Sorry for the bad audio, whatever, who cares? Because as you can see, this video did not go up the day that it was meant to. It was supposed to go up the 10th, obviously, and I was supposed to be done editing it by the 10th but that didn't happen because it's now the 12th and i'm in the middle of editing it <laughs> like the days that i had planned to work out didn't end up happening i woke up very late a few days i was hung over a day i was sick another day i had insomnia another day like that shit happens but i'm just you know it's all fine because i just move things around to better fit my schedule 
and I don't stress out about it. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like and comment and subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. How the fuck you turn this off?